On May 30th, Baby Kim and Kendrick Lamar dropped a track accompanied by a awesome music video that was clearly recorded on a camcorder. By the way, if you want to know how to make a video exactly like Baby Kim and Kendrick Lamar, I have a video explaining how camcorders work, what camcorder to buy, and how to achieve that type of look. So make sure to check it out. It'll be down in the description or somewhere in the video as a pop-up. That being said, Kendrick Lamar and Baby Kim dropped a song called Hillbillies. Now, besides the song being a bop, something very special happened in the music video. There's a cameo by Tyler the Creator and he's wearing this button pin that says Cam Flognon in 2023 and as he shows it on the camera he points to the Dodgers stadium hinting that maybe Cam Flognon will be held there and it will happen in 2023. Well we didn't have to wait too long on May 31st 2023 it was confirmed Cam Flognon is back at the Dodgers stadium. Now the lineup hasn't released yet but I want to take y'all back to the last Cam Flognon that didn't happen in 2022 not in 2021 not in 2020 but we have to go back to 2019 four years ago to Ken Flognar 2019. And let me just tell you something crazy happened at Ken Flognar 2019. Welcome back to the Kill Ivan Show. And today we're talking about why Drake got booed off the stage at Ken Flognar 2019. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Kill Ivan Show. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share, comment. What's your favorite Drake song? And guys, don't forget to follow me on all socials, Instagram, TikTok, Discord. I'm on everything. The link tree down in the description. Hit me with a follow, guys. I'm active on all socials. And guys, it's the road to 10,000 subscribers. You already know this. And if you want the OG blonde vinyl, the white cover, you know what to do. Subscribe, guys. Guys, it's sealed. It's brand new. I never opened it, guys. Me and Frank Ocean were still beefing. If you want this, you know what to do. The second I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm opening up the giveaway. Anybody anywhere on this planet can win it. I don't care if shipping costs. If you win, you're getting it. I don't care. You could be anywhere. Do not care. You can get this vinyl. Also, I want to say, don't forget, New Nostalgia Podcast every week, guys. We're going to talk about Cam Flogna. We're going to talk about my predictions for the lineup. We're going to talk about Kanye West releasing Yeezys and what Yeezys we're going to buy. And also, Kanye West shoes through history. So, guys, listen. Check it out. Check out the New Nostalgia Podcast. Link down. It will pop up. Check the description. Check the video. Check it out. It's pretty dope. It's me and my homeboy, Beam. But all of that being said, let's get back into the video. So in the latest Baby Keen and Kendrick Lamar collaboration, by the way, they're definitely going to make a collab album. Like, at this point, come on, guys. That being said, we see Tyler the Creator appearing on the music video, hinting to Cam Flognall 2023 being at the Dodgers Stadium, which was later confirmed on May 31st. Now, by the way, guys, I'm definitely going. If you remember the Strawberry Swingers, we're going to Camp Flogna. We started already a group chat. We're getting prepared for that. So if you want to join us, hit me up, bro. Follow me on IG. Hit me up. DM me, bro. I'll add you into the group chat. The Strawberry Swingers. It was a vibe last time. It's going to be a vibe this year at Camp Flogna. So if you want to be part of this group, hit me up, guys, on IG. Now, that being said, I have a strong feeling that Kendrick Lamar and Baby Kim will be at the music festival. Why would they put Tyler Creator doing that free promo in a music video if they're not going to show up? Which would be a wonderful surprise. And I believe that throughout the festival in 2023, they're going to be an amazing surprise. But Ken Flogna isn't new to surprises. I felt like in 2018 when we had Kitsy Ghost on that platform performing, that was a beautiful surprise. But in 2019, there was also a surprise guest, a surprise person on the festival lineup. Right next to Tyler Creator's name on the flyer, you could see a question mark. Who could that be? And I mean, this festival is known for surprises. I mean, for crying out loud, it's a super VIP package. A few years ago, you could get a guitar. Now you can get a bicycle. Like, dude, Tyler Creator is a genius. But again, surprise guess? Who? Now, at the time in 2019, a lot of people thought it was maybe going to be an ASAP mob reunion because indeed ASAP Rocky did join Tyler Creator on stage, but that wasn't it. There was also speculations of maybe a odd future reunion because Bastard had dropped 10 years ago. So that was a possibility. And with that, we would have legends like Dummo, legends like Earl, legends like Taco, the internet, Mike G, Left Brain, Haji, but let's not forget one of the most iconic members of the odd future squad, Frank Ocean. Yes, people were expecting the one that shall not be named, Voldemort. No, Frank Ocean. The rumors 
were circulating. The internet was going crazy when the lineup came out and there was those question marks. But that's not what went down at the 2019 Camp Flogna Festival. Now, before I talk about what happened, I just want to say that honestly, I was disgusted by the behavior that the festival goers show demonstrated. I mean, I understand the disappointment, of course, but this is not like Coachella where he half-assed a performance, came out an hour late and barely was on stage and left while giving half a performance. No, you didn't know who was going to show up. It could have been anybody. There was nobody hinting pointing at Frank Ocean being there. So to boo off somebody legendary as Drake off the stage is disrespectful and just childish in my opinion. Listen, I understand Drake is no Frank Ocean, okay? Nowhere near, but he is a legend in the game. And honestly, if I was there, I would have been over the moon to see Drake. I mean, I spent $600 on It's All a Blur Drake tickets for his concert, man. Like Drake is him, but again, I understand he's no Frank Ocean, but he didn't deserve that disrespect. Anyway, this is everything that went down on the final day of 2019. Camp Flogna. At 4.20 p.m., Willow Smith teared it on the stage, bringing a guest appearance that, who else? Her brother, Jaden Smith, on the stage. And listen, they killed it with Jaden performing Summertime in Paris, which is, <laughs> what a beautiful song. After that, at 4.36, there's a lot of sound and technical difficulties during IDK's set. After 15 minutes of troubleshooting, IDK hit the stage and turned up. I mean, niggas were throwing garbage cans in the air during the song 4200 Choices, man. At 524, FKA Twigs pulled up on stage looking amazing and killed her set. I mean, she had dancers and everything. It was an incredible set. Ken Flogna at this point was a movie. At 6.15, Golink pulled up on stage. The crowd was mushing. It was going crazy. And even Tyler Crater guest appeared on stage. Wild, wild, wild. At 6.45, Brockhampton pulled up on stage. <sighs> yeah, that hurts. Um, that hurts that it's over. What a movie. At 7.45, her pulled up on stage and... It's crazy because <laughs> the other shows were really like full of energy, but she mellowed it down and gave an amazing performance. And you know, at 822, YG had to put the West Coast on notice, killing it on stage. And YG paid tribute to Nipsey Hussle, which was a beautiful moment too. At 1004, it was that time. Anticipation was rising. People were speculating who was the special guest. We had names like Jay-Z, Beyonce, even ASAP Rocky. But the resounding name that was on everybody's lips in their minds was Frank Ocean. Will Frank Ocean perform at the 2019 Camp Flognaw Music Festival? People were waiting. The anticipation was rising. Who was it going to be? In the crowd, you started hearing a loud chant. We, we want Frank. So, we want I Frank. You, um, we want Frank. Was Frank going to pull up? And, and I mean... From the names I just mentioned, they weren't completely wrong. I omitted to put a name in the list of people that were possibly going to be at Camp Flogna. There was one name that was mentioned also. Beside Asap Rocky, Beyonce, and Jay-Z, even Frank Ocean. It was Drake. Seemingly to calm down the crowd, Tyler Crater pulled up on stage and brought out the GOAT, Asap Rocky, which... Again, was one of the predictions, so I feel like people were very happy. And then, out of nowhere, pulls up Lil Uzi Vert singing a classic <laughs> Money Longer. At that point, once Uzi, ASAP Rocky, left the stage, Ty the Creator was ready to present the guest, the surprise artist. At that point, a song started playing from his 2013 album, With His Head in the Clouds, started from the bottom. Is at that point that the crowd became divisive. We heard screams of joy and we heard a lot of disappointment. I can remember the clips fondly of Ty the Creator front row just singing to a classic song by Drake produced by Kanye West, Feel No Ways. Which is amazing. I don't like Views, but that's one of my favorite songs on Views. Sing away and just the crowd being dead as hell. It's at that point that Drake says to the audience, Like I said, I'm here for you. And if you want me to keep going, I'll keep going. I'm going to tell you. Like I said, I'm here for you tonight. If you want to keep going, I will keep going tonight. What's up? A resounding boos and no's followed with even this guy that went viral on reddit just screaming his heart out because he wanted frank ocean they wanted frank ocean go bro no! No! 
for me to see because 2019 we're not gonna lie to yourself drake even still today was the biggest artist on the planet and to get the biggest artist on the planet to your festival first of all i commend tyler creator for that like wow your festival has grown so much from what it used to be amazing but just to see that even with Drake being there, the love these fans had and the wanting to see Frank Ocean, they even booed off Drake. They paid money for the festival, had a, an amazing artist that was there and didn't want it because they wanted Frank Ocean. It's crazy to me to boo off Drake. Even Drake laughing at the fact that for the first time, like he kind of got booed off stage and it was a humbling moment for him. They wanted Frank Ocean that bad. For people that think Frank Ocean is overrated and don't like his music, guys, <laughs> Drake got booed off because people wanted Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean is him. That being said though, I do agree with the criticism that people had for the fans at the Camp Vlognar. Even Tyler Crater talking about it and he shared his kind of disappointment and disgust of what happened and what transpired. Drake's an amazing artist. He didn't deserve that. That. Guys, Frank Ocean never said he was coming, so don't expect that. That being said, Drake left the stage 20 minutes earlier. He sung a lot of, of his hits, amazing songs. It would have been a fun moment, but the crowd was just not in it. So as he said to the crowd, if you want me to be here, I'll be here. And as they said, boo and nose, Drake said, it's been love. Took it like a champ and just left the stage. Well, look, it's been love. I love y'all. I go by the name of Drake. Thank you for having me. Tyler Crater followed, left in his Escalade, and left the premises of the festival. I do want to just say, first of all, that Drake, I respect his humility and his humbleness to just take the L, realizing also the greatness of Frank Ocean. I also want to say that for this year's Camp Vlog now, that I will be there with the Strawberry Swingers, so hit me up on IG if you want to join the group chat. Guys, don't expect Frank Ocean, please. And we know what happened at Coachella. We know how he is. Do not start screaming that Frank Ocean will be there. He probably won't. He doesn't owe us anything, but he doesn't care of he doesn't care for his fans. He doesn't at all. He's here for the money. He's not gonna do the festival. Let's enjoy the artists that we have there that are happy to see us. And let's enjoy Cam Flogna because it's back and we're blessed to have it back. So that being said, guys, like the video, share, comment. Let me know in the comments. Are you going to Camp Flogna? If you want to be in the group chat for the Strawberry Swingers going to Camp Flogna, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram in my DMs, please. And guys, please subscribe. Road to 10K if you want the blonde vinyl. And also, don't forget, there's also the new Nostalgia Podcast. Guys, check it out, man. It's really dope. It's a good listen. And guys, as usual, keep it golf. See what I did there? <laughs> I'm too good at this.